Good morning. We're so glad that you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, come back tomorrow. I'm sitting in some standstill traffic on my way to Winter Park to go to our first IVF checkup. Alrighty, so I'm about to head in. I am getting an ultrasound and blood work done. The thing is, the study that we're a part of is double blind, so I will not see the screen at all. I won't find out how I'm doing, how I'm reacting. All they'll tell me is to either up the dosage, down the dosage, or keep it the same, and then I'll find out when I come back next. So it's kind of anticlimactic but also just exciting to be back because I feel like the process is already going pretty fast. Um, so yeah, I'll update you once I am back. Alrighty, so I'm all done. I will have to come back tomorrow and I got some more medicine. Um, let me show it to you. So I will have this additional shot in my thigh starting tonight. Um, again, it's pre-mixed. It has its own needle, it's all situated easy peasy. I just have to do it in my thigh instead at the same time as my stomach. I guess this one hurts a little bit more, um, but they just told me to ice before and after. So that's exciting, moves forward. So I still have the same pen for the study medication, the stim medication that I'll be taking. There's still enough left for tonight, so I'll be able to go back tomorrow and get more. Um, but I'm waiting until later this evening to hear if my dosage will change. Um, they have to wait for the blood work to come back. And then I'll know, and 9.15 tomorrow is the tentative appointment. Um, it feels like, I don't know, it feels like we're really moving along fast. I was told to hydrate and to keep my protein up. We talked about my non-meat diet and just like, everything that I need to be eating today. Um, somebody had actually commented doing protein shakes that they did that and it worked really well before their egg retrieval. So on my way home, I'm gonna go to Target and get some protein powder to, um, to do those shakes just so that I am building up that protein. Protein's important to build cells. So it only makes sense that to make a baby, you need good protein. Um, so yeah, we're gonna give it a little extra oomph before this weekend, which will hopefully be egg retrieval. Here are my protein purchases. Um, both are vegan. These will be like easy to bring into the parks to snack on or just snack on during the day. And then this is the mix that I'll do with either the oat milk or the coconut milk that we've been using. There were two other restrictions that I will have and that is I need to stay hydrated and that I can't be in extreme heat. So the next couple of days, I mean, we usually go out at night anyway, so we're just not gonna be outside a ton. Um, stay hydrated, I've been doing that already through the advice of my acupuncturist. So really it's just making sure I have enough protein and stay hydrated. And I haven't heard back yet, but I mean, if things aren't going like they should, then this weekend will probably be egg retrieval so that is the surgery that like Peter will need to be there I won't be able to drive all of that stuff not a ton of recovery time just like that day um, will be a slower day so yeah I'm finally gonna be able to start the vlog now I'm gonna eat some soup it's like almost noon already so I gotta get to get in so I can go pick up Peter from work in five hours six and a half hours later look who's home me. Wait, look at this cutie. Hi. <laughs> You're so cute. Okay, so this is my new medicine going in my thigh. And the book, they tore the pages out that we already used. And so getting we're ready. getting ready to go. Two shots today. We're home watching Gilmore Girls. And they just, and for some reason we've had closed caption on Hi, our Netflix for months. And they just used the word tchotchke. But it starts with a T. And it made my day. So I got you a cookie. This is the official notice of the vlog. It is now a stay-at-home vlog. Sarah's feeling real tired. 
I'm just like sleepy. Well, you got a bunch of medicine shots in your guts and your legs. <laughs> just so one leg. I pulled our, our Americana handmade quilt in almost a hundred years old. What's that scene from? Oh my godmother, Betsy Ross. That's from The Grinch. The Grinch! So the night continues with kill more girls. The sun's still up, so I'm gonna go on a run later still. And you gotta show me a welt? She's so thirsty. I just kinda take care of my girls. Here you go, Eve. She's resting. They both are. It's 9.30 at night. I gotta dry the dishes. And at some point I gotta go on a run. I haven't stopped my training at all. I haven't missed a day, I should say, of training on my schedule in the three, it's going on four weeks now. But it's only a three miler. I'll go on probably the next half hour or so. Um, but yeah, we feel good about the doctors. We've been nervous trying not to be in our heads about symptoms and the placebo because one in ten people get a placebo and we will still get to do IVF next month guaranteed if Sarah got the placebo. But I know, I know we don't have it. And so I think we'll know the next day or two like 100% because Sarah will start getting more and more symptoms as the medicine kicks in. Um, it's just all very exciting. And it's not going to be the easiest. Like, Sarah's drained all day today, and the medicine has barely even started to do its job. So, uh, thank you guys for all your support, and uh, you guys are the best. And if you guys think that we have a lot of fun now, living in Disney with our pup, just wait until we have the beginning of our family, let alone the rest of our family. It's going to be awesome, and it's going to be worth all these lazy days and exhausted days and and mentally and physically trying days with the ups and downs of this infertility because we are we've never been more head to head against it um, but I can just see what what's on the other side of it and it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty great it's gonna be awesome so we're just going to take care of ourselves, and we're going to share that all with you guys, because you guys bring us up too. And we're just going to, we're going to get it done, one way or another. Many, many, many hours later. I never went on my run. I, like, got my stuff ready, even I had my shoes on and everything. Fall asleep on the, made this decision. I did. I didn't fall asleep, but I made the decision not to go on my run. Which is crazy, because I just said I haven't missed a day in my training schedule. Then I fall asleep on the couch, and then Sarah woke me up just now at 3.15 in the morning. So time to do our message, and time to go to bed. Today is July 2nd, nothing on the schedule over there. And the message is a short and sweet one from Anonymous. Stay patient and trust your journey. Well, I don't know about a more applicable uh, daily message for us for what we're going on right now. We do trust our journey, and we are patient, but we are also, like, focused. Like I said earlier, we're going to get this done. But thank you so long for so much for following along with us today. A um, little bit of a different vlog, but as we said yesterday, you're going to see those from time to time again during the next couple weeks. Um, we love you guys. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.